Hey, how you guys doing? My name is Rashar and welcome to Rashar with the Reactions. As always, glad to have you. I hope you all are doing well today. So Chiseled Adonis is going to outline how some people got slept. So let's jump on in and see what led to those sweet dreams. But before we do that, if this is your first time here or you just haven't done it yet, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you can always see my reaction to videos like this or other videos you might like. Plus it helps the channel a lot. With that being said, let's dive on in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again. Hold live My from Nugget the Studios. Beef's backyard. I love this promotion. They've always got a cornucopia of individuals, but right now we've got a matchup between what appears to be the neighbor of Eminem when he was growing up in the trailer box <laughs> versus. Oh. Wow. The they never once attempted to defend. The black shirt is taking all those punches. Caught every single punch thrown. Exactly. Man, like he just skipped school to fight against a grown ass man. Plus, I'm 100% positive that Claps Moro used to fight his co workers. He swings like he used to do overtime, and his employer never gave him the time and a half. Oh, Lord, McCoy's arm has been detached. He's taking full damage now. I think McCoy is done. Yeah, he's Everyone's done. Everyone's getting a timeout. It's up to you. Do you want to continue or not? Let me tell you something. 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 McCoy's got gumption. He refuses to quit. The fight resumes. All right. He Let's did. Let's review how this all started. From the very beginning, the spell card stop defense was already enabled. But Seems much like to McCoy's it. chagrin, his durability was fading by every second. His face was catching more hands than a whore's throat during a gangbang. Claps Moro wow. traveled for this fight a day before his son's birthday just to rip somebody's ass. I said rip somebody's ass. Brothers and sisters are you with me? I'm going to torture somebody. I'm going to bloody somebody. Do you understand me? Brothers and sisters are you with me? Yeah, McCoy had no business being in that ring. It's a me kicking your ass thing. And can't nobody stop. After 40 seconds of catching more knuckles than Dr. Eggman's henchmen, I don't understand how McCoy still decided he wanted to keep fighting, despite the fact that the guard button doesn't work on his controller. Take a look at his eyes. He may say he wants to continue, but that's not the look of a man who wants anything to do with Claps Moro. I agree. Looks like you're about to get pwned. Look at the extension on Claps Moro's punches. Left hand began its journey in Virginia and reached its destination uh. at McCoy's face. Look at the smile on the face of the children on the right. Little wow. man is learning all the moves <laughs> to terrorize his classmates in school come Wednesday. Next up, we've got Big Scoot taking on Quick Attack. I wonder why they call him Quick Attack. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Where the hell did that come from? He did went this for man it. just transmogrify to Roman Reigns? He's got a created character moveset. But wait, there's more. Come here. Ah! Ooh, he got him with that one. Homie did a spinning backhand with boxing gloves on. I ain't never seen nobody do a Superman punch and a spinning backhand since Michelle Piera. Big Scoot don't know what the hell going on. <laughs> and I just noticed, did he just cancel the second Superman punch to show mercy? Who is Quick Attack? Big Scoot looking like he just got hit with supersonic. This man is perplexed. I don't know if he took physical damage or cognitive damage because he's trying to process what he just I saw. I think both. Rumor has it the crowd was saying, how can you call yourself Quick Attack with a beer? Beer belly. He responded, You call that a beer belly? That ain't no beer belly. That's a fuel tank for a whoop ass machine. And I'm about to open okay. up a can on your ass. Looks like he adjusted right a little Cut bit. Kick. Good to know. Quick attack has ultra instinct. Big oh, he's tired. Don't know what to do. He's, he's done. That's enough. God, that's enough. Stop it. Quick attack wins. Quick attack wins. Big Scoot doing the Kaepernick challenge right now. He about to have some 
some trouble <laughs> sleeping tonight. Yeah, he might need hours. external sources to aid him. I know a couple supplements. Up next, we got Hercule Ray versus Killer Cam. Round one. All right. Fight. Did Killer Cam didn't even just touch... bypass the opening touch to try to punch Hercule Ray in the face? Yeah, that's disrespectful. That's all I needed to see. This brother wakes up in the morning and looks himself in the mirror and says, I'm dying off negativity. Anything negative, I'm for it. After the small tie-up, Killer Cam tried to erase what he just did by extending his right arm for a glove touch. But we saw the kind of person you are. Rumor has it he's the kind of man to take his shirt off his back to give to a friend. But he didn't tell him that he last urinated on it. <laughs> Herc Larray is standing his ground, but fatigue is starting to dominate the fight. He's become yeah. a mouth breather like he's battling sleep apnea. <laughs> Oh no, Herc Larray is woozy. Killer Cam's about to live up to his name. Yep. Finish him. Oh. You see, he directed him low with that body shot and then finished him with the face shot. Peter Griffin. Talk to me, talk to me. He's already dead. Put that nigga ass in the dirt. The first two pieces declined this man's credit card transaction. And then the three piece canceled his membership. Tell his family they don't need a casket. He's having a dirt nap right now. Never in my life have I seen a human give a worm a blowjob. What is he doing <laughs> on the ground? To make matters worse, look at the referee fingers. This man was counting. You don't see he's deceased. But he getting better sleep than somebody who just purchased from Raymore and Flanagan. Somebody skin that man right now. Just turn him into a pair of cleats. He's already well acquainted with the floor. And in our last battle, we've got Runk taking wow. on Division. Look at the height differential. Eight inches between these men. Wow. What did he say? Be gone, fuck! We're not talking that kind of inches. Oh, wow. They don't call him Division for nothing. Shot straight to the face. Either he's anti God button or he wants to prove to Division that because he's a six footer, he feels no damage from such short human beings. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh my lord in heaven, Rock got fucked Put up. Put your hands Division up, Rock. The oh, first no. exchange had homie laying on the wall like a Christmas ornament on a tree. He looked like a statue of Joe Rogan getting ready to interview somebody after getting knocked out in the cage. But he's also a victim. We all got the same reaction as the white man on the right. Why was the fight not stopped right there? Clearly, Ronk wasn't in his right mind. His body may be moving, but his soul already left like Megan Fox after the second Transformers movie. Just because you can shake your dreads doesn't mean you okay. Right. Rigor mortis activated. Man's uh. got DDT'd into the shadow Look at realm. his head. Look wow. Look at his neck. He right. looks like dead hand from Zelda. He needs medical attention That right Wow. Now. I'm apologizing when you wake up, but I didn't mean to do none of that. I'm not like that. Division said he's going to apologize to him when he wakes up. Do you recognize how cold of an individual you got to be to say some shit like that? He took his soul Ooh. from the east to the west. <laughs> back to the east. Oh, no. Back to the west. Forget Nurse Joy in the Pokemon Center. We might need Officer Jenny. We just witnessed a crime. He don't need a Sinzu Bean. Forget the regular Dragon Balls, because Shenron and Perunga cannot save him. Somebody, please, call Lord Zeno, please. Ooh. Okay, so can I be a little honest with you guys? I feel a little bad for Rock. The way that he went down, that looks serious. Because you know neck injuries are no joke. So I hope after that match, he went straight to the doctor and had his neck checked out. Because that almost looked like something that the human body should have no business doing. And I hope that Rock goes back and watches the footage and sees that he needs to keep his hands up during a boxing match. Because that's what led to his downfall. Quite literally. And that's today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.